Hello there, welcome to the YouTube channel and in this video, I am going to be talking about the Aurora App Store and why it is the best alternative to Google Play Store on your Android TV. So yeah, this is going to be an interesting video because indeed I'm going to talk about how to install the Aurora App Store, how to launch it, how to use it, how to install applications from it and why it is considered the best alternative to Google Play Store on Android TV. So yes, please make sure you watch the video right up to the end because it is going to be a very interesting video. And just as always, if you find this video helpful, please make sure to drop a like, subscribe, share the YouTube channel and also make sure to comment something on the comment section. Let me know if you find the video helpful. So that's it. Please let's get started. So as I said, I'm going to talk about the Aurora App Store, why it is the best alternative to Google Play Store, how to install it. So I believe the very first step is to install it on our Android TV. Now there are various ways to install it on our Android TV, but I'm going to use this one that I think is the is the most uh, reliable on the Android TV. So please follow me attentively as I do this. So to get there, let's start by going over to our browser. As we come to our browser, we're going to search for the application downloader. Please, this is going to be quite uh, long method so please make sure you follow attentively and if there's something you don't understand please drop in the comment section so what you do once you come over here just go here and search your application downloader app now you say downloader app you are going to get lots of other results but this is the one we're interested in downloader by AFTV news so click on that option and then you see this on your android tv google play store now this is on the web version of google play store so just quickly install this Android TV. This works on any Android TV and also on any browser. So just go ahead and install the application. Now the reason why installing the application is to install an app store that is going to help us install the Aurora app store. So please just go over here follow attentively and if you don't understand something let me know. Now once you are here please come here and type in this code that I'm about to show you. The code is simply 21 254 so type this code on and you go ahead and launch so this code is a, is a code to install an application called apk time which is the app store we are going to use to install the aurora app store to our android tv so let's go over here just follow what i just showed you it's going to bring you here go to this page and on the download button here click on it as you click on that download button a pop-up is going to come up and we'll start downloading the APK Time App Store. This won't take a while. Just wait for it to completely download. Then we install to our Android TV. So please follow attentively. So as we install this, the next we need to do is to click done and delete the app file from our device. Then we can clearly return home and go over to app stores where the application has been installed. Here is it over here. We go ahead and we launch it. So this is APK time. Now the reason we installed APK time is so we can use the APK time to install the Aurora App Store. So as you do here, come here to the option that says APK Seekers. Please click on that option. I am going to see an option here with the Aurora Store version 4.7.5, which is the latest version. So click on it and it says this is going to work on any Android 5 Plus. So just wait for application to download. Now it's downloaded. We go ahead and we install to our Android. TV. So please, that is the process I have used to install this app store. The first thing is to install downloader. Then we use downloader to install APK time. Then we use APK time to install this. So when this is done, we can return here and the application has been done, has been installed. So now that Aurora app store is installed, let's go ahead and launch it and see how it works. So here is it over here. Just click on it once and this is how it should look like for the first time. So what you do, you go over to the option that says you can read through all of these which I don't really have no idea the benefit of reading that. But once you read through, click next and also read through. Please grant this uh, this option you see, allow Aurora store to download and update apps in the background. And the external storage manager, allow installing apps from Aurora store. You can also grant these other ones if you're interested in them. But if you don't want, the two most important have already been granted. So just come here, you click next. Now, this is going to bring you to this page. One of the biggest things I love about the Aurora store 
But when I, one thing I believe that makes the Aurora store better than the Google Play Store, it is that it gives you the ability to go over to Play Store without having to log in with any Google account. You know, for you to use Google Play Store, you need to log in with your Google account. But here you can go to the store anonymously without using any account. And that's one thing I love about the Aurora store that the Google Play Store do not have. So please just click on anonymous if you want. Because you log into your Google account, but I don't recommend that, especially on Android TV. So I just recommend logging in with an anonymous account. So once you're here, these are all the applications that you can find on the Aurora store and just like on the Google Play store, there are lots of applications here, there are lots of them. Now of course on Android TV, all these applications are not going to work because applications that work on Android TV are applications that are developed to be compatible with TV screen. So as much as you see all these applications here, not all of them are going to work on Android TV but I cannot tell you which application will work and which application won't work. All you need to do is to install the application first of all, and then you try to install it or you try to launch it to see if it's compatible with your Android TV. So I don't know which application is compatible and which is not compatible. But that's what I just want to make sure you know that all these applications, even though they're showing here, they're not all going to be compatible with a TV screen because the TV screen is bigger. But as long as your TV is an Android TV, most of these applications are built or are created to work on android tv or on bigger screen so that's what you have to know now the question is how do you install an application from here it is very simple the first thing is for you to go over to the application you want to install so let's assume i want to install an application here i don't even have an idea in mind or what application to install okay here's netflix over here netflix is designed to work on tv too so here's it over here if I want to install it, I just go over here and I click on it. So you see, they are going to give us uh, instructions. There is manual download and there is install. And all you have to do is just click install here. And at which is going to start installing. You can just wait for it to completely install. And then that's just how to install any application on the Aurora App Store. You can, as you can see, it is very, very easy to do. Just like the Google Play Store, where this is Aurora App Store. I can install applications from here to your TV without necessarily needing the Google Play Store. That's why this App Store, for me, it is the best alternative to Google Play Store on any Android TV. If you own an Android TV, the Aurora App Store should be an alternative if you don't have Google Play Store or if you want to replace Google Play Store. Another thing here is that the applications here, you can both install APKs and applications. I can update them to your Android TV without any problem. So the, yes, the Aurora App Store is a very interesting application and I would recommend it anytime because one of the things I can come over to it, I can log in without any any account. As you can see, I just installed this application without using any account. So if you found the video full, make sure to like, subscribe and share for more important videos like this. So as you are here, you can take out your time, you can browse through, you can install lots of applications, you can see which one is going to work on your TV and so on. So subscribe to the YouTube channel if you found the video helpful.